Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you guys natural hair must-haves that you guys can get at the beauty supply store, the drugstore, but I more would recommend you guys going to the beauty supply store for these items. These are tools and products that I would recommend you guys having, just like in your beginner kit, your starter kit. So if you guys are interested in knowing these must-haves for hair like this or similar, make sure you guys stay tuned and let's get into this video. Okay, so the first must-have that I always, always, always swear by, live by, recommend, always having hair oil okay i have videos on my channel where i talk about hair growth and how to grow your hair and how to grow your hair big hair oil should be your best friend especially if you're going natural even if you're not even going natural you just need to have hair oil because hair oil helps with your scalp to keep it moisturized it helps with your hair to keep it moisturized and it promotes healthy hair which in return grows your hair i don't have a specific hair oil for you guys to buy buy what's in your budget for hair oils and what if you want to target a certain thing you guys can do that i don't really care what hair oil I buy. I buy based on my budget and I just buy whatever. And you wanna buy a hair oil that is for your hair type, okay? Because if you have thick natural hair like me, you're going to want hair oil like this, okay? Very thick hair oil. Now, if you're someone who doesn't have thick natural hair like me, you're going to want to go in with like a liquid hair oil. I know some people like getting coconut oil and melting it, and you can just buy one of these from the beauty supply store. This is actually a hair oil applicator, and this is for much more liquid hair oil. And this was only like $1.99. I always recommend you guys going to the beauty supply store because the things are, are like, they're just so affordable, so why not? If you're someone who has much more thinner hair, you probably would go in with a liquid oil and you can use something like this because some liquid oils that you buy at the store they don't come with like a applicator you just have to put it in your hand and put it in your hair but if you have this this concentrates right on your scalp so i highly recommend you guys buying oils you need it okay so the next thing that i would recommend you guys getting <laughs> this is like a must have and if you don't get this like i don't know okay so these are wide tooth combs okay these are like a dollar dollar fifty or you can get like two for a dollar fifty they're so cheap and i love them because when it comes to detangling your hair i have uh how to detangle your hair when it's dry and when it's wet and when it's wet on my channel so you guys can watch one of those tutorials depending on which one you like i always go in for this so this one i use for in the shower because as you can see you can hook it in the shower um and this one i just use on a regular basis now the reason why you want a wide tooth comb especially if you have natural hair even if you're not natural but you have just hair texture similar to mine is because the, the, the teeth on these are so wide that it makes detangling your hair much more easier and the process much more painless so you guys need these highly affordable buy 10,000 of these these they're and i like this quality too that they have as you guys can see they don't break i know these these break in some people's hair but they don't break i'm trying to see if i got this either at dollar tree or the beauty supply store you guys can actually check dollar tree for natural hair items as well and i did a video on Nat dollar tree's natural hair items so you guys can go watch that video too. I have so many videos on my channel that you guys can watch. Also, if you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure you guys subscribe because if you like me or you just like natural hair videos similar to this, definitely go subscribe to my channel because I have a lot of videos similar to this. Anyway, so you're going to want to want this to tangle your hair, to fluff your hair if you like doing more your natural hair and you like big hair like this. So my have you need it i swear by wide tooth combs them and hair oil all i need in my life are these two things and i'm okay my hair will flourish i'll be okay that's i'm such a minimal natural hair girl and so can you too especially with the beauty supply store being so affordable okay so next thing you're going to need is things for your sleepwear so when you have your natural hair it's either you're going to buy a satin pillowcase or you're going to go in with some satin head ties for nighttime i have a bonnet here the bonnets are so cheap like two dollars i think or three dollars and depending on the size of the bonnet and the type of bonnet and the quality the prices differ but it's still so cheap so everyone goes to the beauty supply store to buy bonnets i have one right here i wear these most of the time um, because it's just easy you put it on you rip it off in the night and then you can either go in with a satin scarf and you just easily wrap your hair with it a lot of people like going in with both of them the, these two combos here and then wearing them and going to sleep but again it's based on your preference so these are essential for your kit because when you're when you're sleeping at night you're going to need to have to wrap your hair to protect your hair from it drying out okay and when it dries out all the time it's going to break off and you don't want that so that's why people wear these or they have if if you don't like wearing these on your head at night you can go in and just buy satin pillowcases and just wear that to bed so that should work okay next thing that you're ready to need another hair item especially if you have natural hair if you have black hair you're going to want a shower cap they sell at the dollar store for like a dollar not the dollar store oh my god they do sell them at dollar tree but they're kind of more plastic more plastic than these but the beauty supply store sells you and these are like a dollar two dollars and it's just a shower cap you just wear it <laughs> when you're showering so you can protect your hair that's really it. I always use this all the time, especially if you don't want to get your hair wet, like the hairstyle that you have in. You have this to protect it, and then once you come out the shower, you rip it off, 
and you put it down well you hang it up but yeah you're gonna need a shower cap that's like a necessary thing that you're gonna need especially not wanting to wet your hair you just done your did your hair and you have to go shower you're gonna need a shower cap you need it so the next thing that you guys are going to need i'm on a roll someone's gonna say that i'm talking so fast oh if you're liking this video so far make sure you guys make sure you guys give me a thumbs up or comment down below okay so the next thing that you're going to need are brushes i have so many brushes here but i have an in-depth video on the must-have brushes for natural hair so i'm gonna link that video if you guys want to watch that video but the beauty supply store has endless amount of brushes so you're going to want to have a few brushes for your natural hair now i'm not going to go through all these but there's only like say like three brushes i would recommend you guys getting especially for your hair kit just to start off you're going to want to have a detangling brush so i love this detangling brush for when i'm washing my hair in the shower it's easy simple again if you want an in-depth video on all of these brushes i'm going to link it for you guys but you're going to need a detangling brush for when you're in the shower and you can also use this brush like when your hair is dry wet i mean when your hair is dry and you want to detangle your hair and you're also going to want to have a hard bristle brush and a soft bristle brush so the soft bristle brush is for when your hair is like in the style already and then you just um, tame the flyaways with these and you want the harder bristle brush to help you style your hair so if you're doing a bun or you're doing a sleek black hair style the wider one is going to help cover more air in your head and the smaller one can help with just like the detailing the perfection the perfecting of your hair so you're going to need some brushes okay again all these brushes are less than three dollars i wasn't going to spend any more than three dollars on a hairbrush at the beauty supply store so i saw brushes starting at like a dollar two for like 150 because these ones are you can get two for 150 for these small ones and everyone has these especially if you're gelling your hair okay so the next thing that you guys are going to need is a spray bottle but this spray bottle i'm going to link down below mine broke so i can't even show you guys it but it's a continuous spray bottle ever since i got introduced to the spray bottle i never went back to regular spray bottles ever again so i'm going to link it down below in my amazon on my amazon link so you guys can go shop it and i highly recommend it because it's like a mistful continuous spray bottle so when you spray it goes like pssst, and like it's all mistful all on your body and stuff like that so you're going to need a spray bottle because if you're someone who just needs to like lightly like touch up your hair and bring back moisture into it or you're sl slicking your hair and you really want to drench your hair fully and you just want to use a spray bottle it's really going to help so i like it i use it all the time it's a highly recommend spray bottles are kind of self-explanatory when it comes to using natural hair and the beauty supply store is now selling continuous spray bottles as well but if the one that you you go to don't have it which they should um again shop the amazon link and and you can find it if you're in jamaica you can go to bashko and bashko sells the continuous spray bottles as well that's the fyi next thing the next thing you're going to need is a rat tail comb now the rat tail comb is essential not for combing out your hair i don't want to see any of you guys trying to detangle your hair and comb out your hair with a rat tail comb you're just you're just evil to yourself but you're going to use it to part rat tail combs are to part to make things precise and you're going to need this especially if you're styling your hair it's just essential okay it's very self-explanatory these are really cheap you can get like two for a dollar sometimes some stores sell three for a dollar three for 150 50 cents each or 25 cents each and it's like really good because people run through these really quick because they kind of break easily okay next things that you are going to need are some hair ties now i have two different hair ties here so i have just like regular black ones i always buy black hair ties because it just blends more especially if you have darker colored hair it just and it's a neutral color so it works better anyway so i just buy black ones this one comes in a pack of like i think it was 10 and it was 2.99 i spent and then i don't have any anymore because i don't know where they all disappeared to but you can buy like the bigger longer one for and they, they're kind of like headbands but they're not they're still like regular hair ties but they're just a little bit bigger and longer which we all need especially if we're going natural because we have a lot of hair if you are used to buying hair ties that pop a lot because um which these ones don't actually i didn't even talk about that i like these ones because can you guys see i'm pulling them so hard and they can't pop i'm gonna link these down below in case any of you guys want to buy these ones specifically um i got them at the beauty supply store they don't pop at all that's why i bought them i hate when i'm having hair ties and i'm doing my hair in these they pop so that's why these ones are 2.99 for a pack of 10 because they literally don't pop no matter how hard you pull them and that's what you want to start buying when it comes to buying hair ties for your hair the next ones that i have in my hand are still head ties here let me see if you guys can see them but they're curly these ones are not are supposed to not have your hair stuck in them you can still wear them especially for people who are looking toward having hair ties that don't have their hair stuck in them so i got these i don't even remember how i got these but um i think i probably got them at walmart okay next things that are essential for natural hair are clips right here right here right here you're going to want to have clips because when you're separating your hair if you don't want to use hair ties you can just clip your hair just to hold the hair in place if you can't get these at 
beauty supply store you can definitely get them at dollar tree or just like a dollar store because they sell them and they sell them usually like a pack of four or five and you want to have hair clips just to help your hair with separating when you're detangling your hair you want to separate your hair if you're styling your hair you want to separate your hair and not make the, the different parts like all intermingle all over again so another thing that you guys are going to need oh also follow me on instagram at anisha.adams if you guys want to stay updated with me okay so the next thing that you would want guys just excuse the paper it's kind of broke up <laughs> you want some bobby pins bobby pins is essential they sell them so affordable at dollar tree at any dollar store at beauty supply stores pick up as many as you want i have like small little ones here which maybe you guys can see small little ones here and then i have like bigger longer ones listen the amount of times i'm like oh shoot i need a bobby pin and i run i run and then i go get one and i'm like oh good thing i bought this whole entire set but like when you do ponytails and stuff, bobby pins work really, really good. So I want you guys to comment down below what other essentials you would recommend for natural hair. Help other people out in the comment section. And you'll be helping me out in case I'm forgetting some things. Comment them down below, like up this video, share it to someone that you think will need this beginner kit for natural hair. I'm gonna link other videos on the screen that I've done similar to this so you guys can watch, keep on watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Au revoir.